Welcome to the MBA 5 on 5. This is our daily show with games report and the top performers for the day. So here we are after the 23rd game day on November 10th where we had a total of 13 games. And the most points scored on the day Anthony Davis from Minnesota, 48. The Iron Fox from Sacramento, 37. Kelly Aubrey Jr. from Chicago, 37. Jeremy Grant from Detroit, 35. And Andrew Wiggins from Golden State Warriors, 35 as well. The best rebounders for today. Devanta Sabonis, Indiana, 19. Kevin Looney, Golden State Warriors, 17. Yanis Atacumpo, Milwaukee, 15. Jonas Valanciunas from NLP, 15 as well. And Steven Adams from Memphis, 13. The assist leaders for today were Russell Westbrook from Lakers with 14. James Harden from Brooklyn with 11. Kyle Lowry, Miami, 11. Luka Doncic, Dallas, 10. And Josh Giddy, OKC, 9. <clears throat> who made the most blocks today was Miles Turner from Indiana, 6, Precious Achua from Toronto, 3, Alec Burks from New York, also 3, Darren Fox from Sacramento, 3, and Stephen Adams from Memphis, 2. Now let's look, the player, let's look at the players who had most steals on today's game day. At the first place, we have three players with six steals. Bam Adebayo from Miami, Alex Caruso, Chicago, and Franz Wagner from Orlando. All of them with six steals. At fourth place, we had Luka Doncic from Dallas with four steals. And Cole Anthony from Orlando with three steals. Now, let's take a look at turnovers. Who turned the ball most over tonight? At the first place, we have two players with eight turnovers, which is Dennis Schroeder from Boston and Russell Westbrook from Lakers. At the third place, we have Kevin Durant and Anthony Edwards, and James Harden, who turned the ball over six times each. The most three points made by a player on today's day were Lonzo Ball, Pat Connaughton, Anthony Edwards, and Kyle Aubrey Jr., all with seven threes. And at the fifth place, we have Willie Barton from Denver with six made threes. Let's see who made, who made the most free throws. We had Gordon, Gordon Hayward from Charlotte with 11 free throws made. Bam Adebayo and Drew Eubanks with 10. And Nicholas Alexander Walker from New Orleans Pelicans. And Lugens Dort from Oklahoma City Thunder with 9. And the fantasy point NBA Fantasy Point winners for today were Anthony Edwards from Minnesota with 61.5, Russell Westbrook, LA Lakers at second with 61.4, Bam Adebayo from Miami 60, as does the Nicolas Alexander Walker from New Orleans Pelican have, and Ja Morant from Memphis with 58.4. Now we are going to start with games reports. First game, we had Washington Wizards playing at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse against Cleveland Cavaliers in front of the 18,056 spectators, which is 90% occupancy of the Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse in Cleveland. Washington Wizards lost 97, uh, Washington Wizards won 97 to 94. And the game leader for Washington was Harrell with 24 points, 11 rebounds, 3 assists. And for Cavaliers, it was Ricky Rubio with 20 points, 5 rebounds, and 5 assists. Washington Wizards have now a score of 8 wins and 3 losses. And they're now at the first place in Eastern Conference on a three-game winning streak. Cleveland Cavaliers have a winning score of seven wins and five losses, 
which gives them a sixth seed in Eastern Conference. Let's take a look at game by quarters. First quarter, Wizards won 24 to 22. Second quarter, Cavaliers won 27 to 20. The third quarter, Cavaliers won 25 to 24. And at the last quarter, Wizards won 29 to 20. So the final score, Wizards 97, Cavaliers 94. So let's take a look at the player stats. Let's start with winners, the Wizards. Starting for Wizards, Kyle Kuzma, 22 points, 5 rebounds, 1 assist for 34 minutes. Shooting for 3, 6 out of 9. Brandon Beal, 13 points, 7 rebounds, 7 assists. Had a bad shooting night for 3 points, 1 of 5 for 37 minutes. Dean with the 11 points, 10 rebounds, 6 assists, almost a triple double for 30 minutes. Coldwell Pope, 5 points, 1 rebound, 1 assist for 28 minutes. And Gufford, starting with 4 points, 6 rebounds, and 1 assist for 22 minutes. Coming from bench, we have a Harrell. 24 points, 11 rebounds, 3 assists for 25 minutes. Kispert, 9 points, 4 rebounds, 0 assists for 14 minutes. Neto, 7 points, 1 rebound, 3 assists for 17 minutes. We had Holiday with uh, 2 points, 2 rebounds, 3 assists for 13 minutes. And then Avdia, 0 points, 2 rebounds, 0 assists for 15 minutes. Now let's take a look at Cleveland Cavaliers. Starters, Garland, 19 points, 1 rebound, 4 assists for 36 minutes. Mobley, 19 points, 7 rebounds, 2 assists for 25 minutes. Allen, 13 points, 10 rebounds, 4 assists for 38 minutes. Wade, 3 points, 2 rebounds, 3 assists for 27 minutes. Okoro, 2 points, 6 rebounds, 1 assist for 28 minutes. Coming from bench, we have Ricky Rubio, 20 points, 5 rebounds, 5 assists for 27 minutes. Osman, 9 points, 6 rebounds, 1 assist for 28 minutes. Stevens, 6 points, 0 rebounds, 0 assist for 15 minutes. Windler, 3 points, 3 rebounds, 1 assist for 13 minutes. And Taco Fall, 0, 0, 0 for one minute. Now let's take a look at the quickly totals for teams. So for Wizards, they had 49 rebounds. The Cavaliers had 40. The Wizards had 25 assists. Cavaliers 21. The Wizards shot 35 out of 84 field goals. 10 out of 28 three points. And 17 out of 17 free throws. They had nine steals, made two blocks, and turned the ball over 12 times. Where the Cleveland Cavaliers shot field goals 35 out of 76. They shot for 3.9 out of 31. And free throws they shot 15 out of 21. They had seven steals, um, they had four blocks, and turned the ball over 14 times. So now, let's move to the next game. Brooklyn Nets played at Amway Center in Orlando, Florida against Orlando Magic and won 123 to 90 in front of the 13,882 spectators, which is 75% occupancy of Amway Center. The Brooklyn Nets are now at season score of 8 wins and 4 losses which is good enough for a third seed, seed in East. And they're now on a one-game winning streak, where Orlando Magic is now at season score of three wins and nine losses. And they are 14th seed in East on a losing on a one-game losing streak. The game leader for uh, Brooklyn Nets was James Harden, 17 points, 11 rebounds, 11 assists, triple-double. And for Orlando, it was... Bamba with 14 points, 9 rebounds, and 2 assists. The game developed by quarters as follows. Nets won the first quarter 28 to 
23. They won the second one as well, 37 to 30. They won the third one as well, 29 to 22. And they won the fourth as well, with 29 to 15. Now let's take a look at the players. For winner, winning team for Nets, Kevin Durant, 30 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists for 29 minutes. James Harden, 17 points, 11 rebounds, 11 assists for 29 minutes. Joe Harris, 9 points, 3 rebounds, 0 assists for 25 minutes. Brown, 8 points, 3 rebounds, 2 assists for 21 minutes. Griffin, 0 points, 2 rebounds, 2 assists for 18 minutes. Coming from bench, Aldridge, 21 points, 8 rebounds, 0 assists for 22 minutes. Bambri, 11 points, 1 rebound, 3 assists for 18 minutes. Carter, 10 points, 3 rebounds, 5 assists for 22 minutes. Mills, 6 points, 2 rebounds, 3 assists for 19 minutes. Millsap, 5 points, 5 rebounds, 1 assist for 18 minutes. Sharp, 4 points, 5 rebounds, 0 assists for 6 minutes. And Thomas, 2 points, 1 rebound, and 0 assists for 6 minutes. Now, let's take a look at Orlando Magic. <coughs> Starters, Bamba, 14 points, 9 rebounds, 2 assists for 29 minutes. Anthony, 10 points, 8 rebounds, 2 assists for 31 minutes. Franz Wagner, 10 points, 7 rebounds, 1 assist for 31 minutes. Carter Jr., Jr., 9 points, 5 rebounds, 1 assist for 18 minutes. And Julian Suggs, 7 points, 5 rebounds, 4 assists for 25 minutes. Coming from bench, we have Ross, 20, uh, 17 points, 3 rebounds, 1 assist. For 20 minutes, Hampton, 9 points, 3 rebounds, 2 assists for 20 minutes. Brasdikis, 5 points, 1 rebound, 1 assist for 4 minutes. Okeke, 4 points, 5 rebounds, 3 assists for 23 minutes. Maurice Wagner, 3 points, 2 rebounds, 0 assists for 13 minutes. Harris, 2 points, 1 rebound, 2 assists for 18 minutes. And then we had um, Mulder, 0, 0, 0 for 4 minutes. The game totals for teams, Brooklyn Nets had 49 rebounds, had 29 assists, and Magic had 49 rebounds as well, but had 10 assists less, 19 assists. The Brooklyn shot for field goals, 46 out of 91, and shot for 3 points, 16 out of 37 and shot for free throws, 15 out of 17. The Orlando Magic shot for field goals, 35 out of 92. Shot for three points only, 4 out of 33. Catastrophe. And shot free throws, 16 out of 24. That one is also a bad one. The Orlando Magic had 10 steals, 3 blocks, and turned the ball over 17 times where the Brooklyn had 8 steals, 5 blocks, and tur turned the ball over 15 times. So, let's move to the next game. Toronto Raptors played at TD Garden in Boston against Boston Celtics in front of 19,156 spectators, 100% occupancy, and lost 88 to 104. Um, the Toronto has now a score of six wins and six losses, which gives them ninth seed in East, and they're now on a three-game losing streak. And Raptors, uh, Celtics are now at five wins and six losses, losses season score, and this is good enough for 11 seed in east on a one game winning streak the game leaders fred van vliet 16 points three rebounds six assists for toronto and jason tatum 22 points 12 rebounds and seven assists for celtics 
the game played by quarters following. Celtics won the first quarter, 33 to 25. They won the second quarter as well, 29 to 21. Then the third quarter was won by Raptors, 22 to 18. And at the fourth quarter, Celtics won again, 24 to 20. Now let's take a look at player stats. Let's start with winning team. Again, we had Jason Tatum, 22 points, 12 rebounds, 7 assists, shooting for field goals, 8 out of 24, shooting for 3 points, 3 out of 7, for 36 minutes. Then we had Mr. Schroeder, 20 points, 3 rebounds, 4 assists, um, for 34 minutes. Maybe the point, the only negative statistic is he turned the ball over 8 times. So... Williams third, 16 points, 13 rebounds, 1 assist for 32 minutes. Smart, 13 points, 3 rebounds, 6 assists for 34 minute playtime. Horford, 10 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists for 24 minute playtime. Then we had Richardson, 15 points, 3 rebounds, 1 assist for 32 minutes. Langf Langford, 6 points, 1 rebound. Zero assists for 19 minute play time. Williams, two points, three rebounds, zero assists for 17 minutes. Then we had Pritchard playing just one minute, not putting him on the board. And Nesmith playing seven minutes and managing to get one rebound for the stats. So now let's take a look at the Raptors starting. Barnes, 21 point, 7 rebounds, 4 assists for 31 minutes. Then we have Unfleet, 16 points, 3 rebounds, 6 assists for 35 minutes. Anunobi, 14 points, 5 rebounds, 4 assists for 36 minutes. Trent Jr., 14 points, 4 rebounds, 0 assists for 34 minutes. And Siakam, 8 points, 7 rebounds, 3 assists for 29 minutes. Coming from bench, we have Mikhailuk. Mihailuk, 10 points, 0 rebounds, and 0 assists for 19 minutes. Achua, 3 points, 9 rebounds, 3 assists for 24 minutes. And then we have Banton, 2 points, 2 rebounds, 0 assists for 13 minutes. Boucher, 0 points, 2 rebounds, 0 assists for 6 minutes. Flynn, 0 point, 1 rebound, 0 assists for 5 minutes. And Champagny, 0 points, 1 rebound, 0 assists for 1 minute. The, the team stats are as follows. Uh, Raptors had 41 rebounds, Celtics 44. Raptors had 20 assists, Raptor 21. Raptors shooting was as follows. Field goals 33 out of 77 for 3, 6 out of 25. Free throw 16 out of 19. The Celtics shot 42 out of 94. Field goals, 3 points, 10 out of 29, and free throws, 10 out of 15. The Raptors had 8 steals, had 8 blocks, and turned the ball over 18 times. And the Celtics had 10 steals, 5 blocks, and turned the ball over 15 times. Let's go to the next game. We had Milwaukee Bucks playing at Madison Square Garden in front of the 18,027 spectators, which is 91% uh, occupancy for Madison Square Garden. The Milwaukee Bucks won 112 to 100, and they're now at a season score of six wins and six losses, which is good enough for eight seed in East. And they're now on a two-game winning streak. New York Knicks are now with a season score of seven wins and five losses, which is good for seventh seed in East. And they're now on a one-game losing streak. Now, the game leader for Milwaukee Bucks was Yanis Atacumpo with 15 points, 15 rebounds, and eight assists. And for New York Knicks, it was DeRose, 22 points, three rebounds, seven assists. The game by quarters, Bucks won the first quarter 31-22, to 22. the second quarter was 20-20, the third quarter Bucks won again with 31-24, to 24. and the Knicks won the last quarter 34-30. to 30. 
Now let's take a look at player stats. So for Bucks, winner, starting the game, Drew Holiday, 18 points, 2 rebounds, 6 assists for 30 minutes. Bobby Portis, 17 points, 5 rebounds, 0 assists for 24 minutes. Yanis Atacumpo, 15 points, 15 rebounds, 8 assists for 37 minutes. Allen, 15 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists for 28 minutes. Hill, 8 points, 5 rebounds, 5 assists for 33 minutes. Coming from bench, Connaughton, 23 points, 9 rebounds and 5 assists for 31 minutes. Ojeleye, 9 points, 3 rebounds, 1 assist for 28 minutes. Nuora, 4 points, 6 rebounds, 2 assists for 18 minutes. Hood, 3.0 rebounds, 0 assists for 5 minutes. And Tanis Atacumpo played only 2 minutes with 0 points, 0 rebounds and 0 assists. Now let's take a look at losing team, Knicks. So starting for Knicks, Julius Randle, 16 points, 5 rebounds, 1 assist for 27 minutes. Barrett, 9 points, 3 rebounds, 1 assist for 20 minutes. Robinson, 3 points, 6 rebounds, 0 assists for 23 minutes. Walker, 2 points, 0 rebounds, 2 assists for 18 minutes. And Fournier, 2 points, 0 rebounds and 2 assists for 19 minutes. Coming from bench, Rose, 22 points, 3 rebounds, 7 assists for 29 minutes. Quickly, 18 points, 5 rebounds, 4 assists for 27 minutes. Burks, 14 points, 1 rebound, 0 assists for 28 minutes. Toppin, 14 points, 6 rebounds, 2 assists for 20 minutes. And Gibson, 0 points, 9 rebounds and 0 assists for 24 minutes. The team stats for Bucks, 50 rebounds, New York, 38. Then Bucks had 29 assists, New York had 19. Bucks shot field goals 40 out of 90, shot 3 points 36 out of 50, and shot free throw 6 out of 9. Uh, where the New York shot free throws, uh, shot field goals 36 out of 83, shot 3 points 16 out of 37, and free throws 12 out of 17. The Bucks had four steals, four blocks, and 14 turnovers, where the Knicks had nine steals, 10 blocks, and 10 turnovers. Let's go to the next game. We had Detroit Pistons playing at Toyota Center Houston against Houston Rockets. And in front of the 15,350 spectators, 85% occupancy for Toyota Center Houston. <clears throat> and Detroit Pistons won 112 to 104. The Detroit Pistons are now at the season score of two wins and eight losses, which <clears throat> is last seed place 15th in East, and they're now on a one-game winning streak, where the Houston Rockets are now at season score of one win and ten losses, and they're not last in West with that score, so they are 14th, uh, and they're on a nine-game losing streak. So, we had for the Detroit, Jeremy Grant, 35 points, 5 rebounds, and 3 assists game leader. And for Houston, it was Wood with 20 points, 9 rebounds, and 3 assists. The game developed in quarters as follows. Detroit won the first quarter, 23-21. to 21. The Rockets won the second quarter, 29-36. to 36. Pistons won the third quarter 33 to 29, and Pistons won the fourth quarter 30 to 25. Now let's take a look at winning team player stats. Starting for Pistons, Grant 35 points, five rebounds, three assists, 34 minutes. Cunnington 20 points, four rebounds, three assists for 30 minutes. Bay 16 points, nine rebounds, three assists for 35 minutes. Stewart, 4 points, 8 rebounds, 1 assist for 14 minutes. Hayes, 4 points, 1 rebound, 3 assists for 30 minutes. Coming from bench, we have Olenek, 
13 points, 6 rebounds, 1 assist for 25 minutes. Jackson, 8 points, 8 rebounds, 4 assists for 18 minutes. Lille's, 7 points, 6 rebounds, 0 assists for 15 minutes. Joseph, 5 points, 2 rebounds, 5 assists for 17 minutes. And Jackson, playing 15 minutes and not managing to score, to re get a rebound or to make assist with a shooting for 3 points, 0 out of 3. So that would be for Pistons. Let's check out the Rockets. So, <clears throat> for Houston Rockets starting, Green, 23 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists for 37 minutes. Christian Wood, 20 points, 9 rebounds, 3 assists for 37 minutes. Porter, 18 points, 5 rebounds, 5 assists for 35 minutes. Tate, 14 points, 8 rebounds, 1 assist for 28 minutes. Thies, 6 points, 4 rebounds, 1 assist for 26 minutes. Coming from bench, we have Gordon, 11 points, 1 rebound, 1 assist for 29 minutes. Then we have House Jr., 8 points, 2 rebounds, 2 assists for 18 minutes. Martin Jr., 2 points, 4 rebounds, 0 assists for 8 minutes. Christopher, 2 points, 0 rebounds, 1 assist for 4 minutes. And Nvamba, Nvaba, 0 points, 4 rebounds, 1 assist for 11 minutes. The team stats are as follows. Detroit had 49 rebounds and 23 assists. Rockets had 42 rebounds and 17 assists. Houston shot field goals, 42 out of 97. 3 points, 16 out of 48, and free throws, 12 out of 18, and Rockets shot field goals, 35 out of 82, 3 points, 12 out of 34, and free throws, 22 out of 34. The Houston Rockets had 5 steals, 5 blocks, and 13 turnovers, where the Detroit Pistons had 6 blocks, six steals and 14 turnovers. Now let's go to the next game. Dallas Mavericks played at United Center in Chicago against Chicago Bulls in front of the 20,910 spectators, 100% occupancy, and they lost 107 to 117. The Dallas is now at a season score of seven wins and four losses which is good enough for fifth seed in West with a losing streak, with one game losing streak. And the Chicago Bulls are now with a season score of eight wins and three losses at the second place in Eastern Conference on a two game winning streak. The game leaders for Dallas was Luka Doncic with 20 points, eight rebounds and 10 assists. And for Chicago, it was Ball with 21 points, 6 rebounds and 6 assists. By quarters, Dallas won the first quarter 32-3 to 32. Then Bulls won the second quarter 29 to 21. They won the third quarter as well 34 to 26. And the Mavericks won the fourth quarter 27 to 22. Let's take a look at player stats. So, for the winning team, Chicago Bulls, we have Zach Levine, 23 points, 3 rebounds, 3 assists for 31 minutes. Ball, 21 points, 6 rebounds, 6 assists for 38 minutes. Nikola Vucevic, 18 points, 10 rebounds, 4 assists for 32 minutes. Mar DeRozan, 17 points, 7 rebounds, 6 assists for 36 minutes. And Green, 7 points, 3 rebounds, and 2 assists for 21 minutes. Coming from bench, we had Caruso, 16 points, 2 rebounds, 1 assist for 22 minutes. Then we had Dosunmu, 7 points, 1 rebound, 0 assist for 18 minutes. Jones Jr., 6 points, 7 rebounds, 2 assists for 19 minutes. Johnson, 2 points, 7 rebounds, 1 assist for 10 minutes. Then we had Thomas playing 1 minute, 0 rebounds, 0 points, 0 assists. We had Bradley playing 6 minutes with only 1 assist. And then we had Brown Jr. also playing 1 minute and uh, 
not managing to put himself on the board. Then for the losing team Mavericks, we had starting Christoph Porzingis, 22 points, 12 rebounds, 1 assist for 31 minutes. Tim Hardaway Jr., 21.3 rebounds, 2 assists for 33 minutes. Luka Doncic, 20 points, 8 rebounds, 10 assists for 33 minutes. Uh, some bad shooting from Luka again. 1 of 6 for 3 points. In total, 6 out of 18 field goals and 7 out of 10 free throws. Real bad shooting. Powell, 12 points, 4 rebounds, 0 assists for 22 minutes. Finney Smith, 5 points, 3 rebounds, 0 assists for 28 minutes. Finney Smith also had a bad shooting night, 1 out of 5 for 3 points. Coming from bench, we had Brunson with 12 points, 4 rebounds, 7 assists for 29 minutes. Brown, 5 points, 4 rebounds, 1 assist for 16 minutes. Natalikina, 4 points, 1 rebound, 2 assists for 9 minutes. Green, 4 points, 0 rebounds, 0 assists for 1 minute. Kolistein, Willie Kolistein, 2 points, 1 rebound, 0 assists for 5 minutes. And Bullock with 0 points, 2 rebounds and 0 assists for 22 minutes with a shooting for 3, 0 out of 4. So, Bullock, if a team brings you while you are a shooter and they bring you for shooting, that doesn't mean you miss everything. Burke, one minute, Marjanovic, one minute, and Brown, one minute. Out of all them, uh, Marjanovic managed to make one rebound. So, <clears throat> Let's take a look at team stats. Dallas Mavericks had a total of 43 rebounds and 23 assists. And uh, Chicago Bulls had 46 rebounds and 26 assists. Dallas shot field goals 38 out of 83. And shot for 3 points 12 out of 33. Free throws 19 out of 24. And the uh, Chicago Bulls shot field goals 45 out of 89. Shot 3 point 15 out of 31 and shot free throws 12 out of 14. The Chicago had also 9 steals, 2 blocks and made 11 turnovers. Where the Dallas Mavericks had 9 steals, 4 blocks and 12 turnovers. So, let's move to the next game. Charlotte Hornets played at FedEx Forum in... Memphis in front of 13,880 spectators, which is 75% occupancy against Memphis Grizzlies. And they won 118 to 108. The Charlotte Hornets are now at a season score of six wins and seven losses. And that is good enough for 10th seed in East. And they're now on a one game winning streak. The Memphis Grizzlies, uh, with a season score of six wins and five losses, are eighth in Western Conference, and they are now on a one-game losing losing streak. We have leaders for Hornets. It was Aubrey Jr. with 37 points, five rebounds, and one assist, and for Memphis it was Jean Morant with 32 points, seven rebounds, and eight assists. The game, the game was played by quarters as follows. The Grizzlies won the first quarter 36 to 34. The Hornets won the second quarter 26 to 16. Then the Grizzlies won the third quarter 26 to 21. And the Charlotte Hornets won the fourth quarter 37 to 30. Let's start with the winning team and player numbers. So starting for Hornets. Hayward, 25 points, 5 rebounds, 5 assists for 37 minutes. Lorenzo Ball, 12 points, 9 rebounds, 8 assists for 32 minutes. Rozier, 11 points, 3 rebounds, 5 assists for 27 minutes. Bridges, 10 points, 9 rebounds, 6 assists for 31 minutes. Plumley, 6 points, 4 rebounds, 5 assists for 27 minutes. 
Coming from bench, we have Aubrey Jr., 37 points, 5 rebounds, 1 assist for 30 minutes. Martin, 7 points, 4 rebounds, 1 assist for 20 minutes. McDaniels, 6 points, 6 rebounds, 1 assist for 21 minutes. And Richards, 4 points, 4 rebounds, 0 assists for 10 minutes. On the losing side for Memphis Grizzlies, we have starting Jamorant with 32 points, 7 rebounds, 8 assists for 37 minutes. We have Jackson Jr., 19 points, 6 rebounds, 2 assists for 30 minutes. Adams, 9 points, 13 rebounds, 3 assists for 28 minutes. Melton, 7 points, 8 rebounds, 3 assists for 32 minutes. Bain, 2 points, 1 rebound, 0 assists for 20 minutes. Bain. What happened, Bain? Then coming from bench, we had Brooks. 20 points, 4 rebounds, 6 assists for 26 minutes. Anderson, 12 points, 7 rebounds, 2 assists for 24 minutes. Contrast, 4 points, 4 rebounds, 1 assist for 17 minutes. Clark, 2 points, 4 rebounds, 2 assists for 12 minutes. And Jones, 1 point. Two rebounds, zero assists for 10 minutes. The team stats as follows. Horns had 49 rebounds, 32 assists, and the Grizzlies had 56 rebounds and 27 assists. The Hornets shot for field goals 41 out of 90, shot for 3.15 out of 36, and free throws 21 out of 24, where the Grizzlies shot field goals 45 out of 106, shot uh, 3.9 out of 38, and shot free throws 9 out of 15. The Grizzlies had 14 steals, 8 blocks, and 16 turnovers, where the Hornets had 13 steals, 7 blocks, and 17 turnovers. So, let's move to the next game. So, we had Oklahoma City Thunder playing at... Smoothie King Center in New Orleans in front of 15,355 spectators, which is 91% occupancy for the Smoothie King Center against New Orleans Pelicans. Oklahoma City Thunder won 108 to 100. The game leader for Oklahoma City Thunder was Shea Gilgus Alexander with 24 points, 7 rebounds, 5 assists, and for Pelicans, it was Alexander Walker with 33 points, 10 rebounds, and 4 assists. The game developed by quarters as follows. The Pelicans won the first quarter 29-28. to 28. Then the Thunder won the second quarter 28-19. to 19. The Thunder won the third quarter 29-23. to 23. And then the Pelicans won the last quarter, the fourth quarter, 29-23. to 23. Let's take a look at game leaders. Let's first start with winning team. Starting for Thunder, Dort, 27 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists for 33 minutes. Gilgis Alexander, 24 points, 7 rebounds, 5 assists. Basley, 14 points, 7 rebounds, 1 assist for 33 minutes. Favors, 9 points, 6 rebounds, 2 assists for 20 minutes. Giddy, 7 points, 12 rebounds, 9 assists for 30 minutes. Coming from bench, we had Muscala, 12 points, 1 rebound, 1 assist for 13 minutes. T-Man, 6 points, 4 rebounds, 0 assists for 14 minutes. Williams, 4 points, 3 rebounds, 0 assists for 20 minutes. Alexei Pokushevsky, 3 points, 4 rebounds, 3 assists for 20 minutes with some terrible, horrible shooting. Field goal 1 out of 8, 3 points 1 out of 5. Then we had Robinson, 2 points, 5 rebounds, 0 assists with for 11 minutes. Jerome with uh, 1 rebound for 2 minutes, and Deck 1 rebound for 2 minutes. Now, let's take a look at Pelican starters. Alexander Walker, 33 points. 10 rebounds, 4 assists for 34 minutes. 
Valanciunas, 25 points, 15 rebounds, 2 assists for 39 minutes. Graham, 18 points, 2 rebounds, 4 assists for 33 minutes. Hart, 4 points, 3 rebounds, 1 assist for 14 minutes. Temple, 3 points, 3 rebounds, 5 assists for 29 minutes. Coming from bench, we have Hayes, 5 points, 3 rebounds, 0 assists for 8 minutes. Murphy, 3rd. 5 points, 4 rebounds, 0 assists for 16 minutes. Jones, 4 points, 6 rebounds, 4 assists for 31 minutes. Lewis Jr., 2 points, 1 rebound, 2 assists for 12 minutes. Satoransky, 1 point, 3 rebounds, 2 assists for 18 minutes. Let's look at the game totals. So, Thunder had 56 rebounds, 23, ass 23 assists. 6 steals, 4 blocks, and 18 turnovers, where Pelicans had 50 rebounds, 24 assists, 13 steals, 5 blocks, and 9 turnovers. The Oklahoma City OKC shot field goals 37 out of 87, 3 points 10 out of 34, and free throws 24 out of 30, where the Pelicans shot field goals 34 out of 97, 3 points 9 out of 35 and free throws 23 out of 32. Now let's go to the next game. So we had Sacramento Kings playing at AT&T Center in San Antonio against San Antonio Spurs. Sacramento Kings lost 117 to 136 and Sacramento is now at the season score of 5 wins and 7 losses which is good enough for ninth place in Western Conference. They're on a three-game losing streak. And San Antonio Spurs are 12th in West Conference uh, with a season score of four wins and seven losses. And they're now um, on a one-game winning streak. So the team leaders for this day were Fox, 37 points, Two rebounds, six assists for Sacramento Kings. And Murray for Spurs, 26 points, six rebounds, and seven assists. The game developed by quarters as follows. The Spurs won the first quarter 34 to 20. Then the second quarter, the Spurs won as well, 37 to 34. Then at the third quarter, we had a tie, 33 to 33. And the last quarter, the Spurs won again, 32 to 30. Now let's look at the player stats for winning team Spurs. Starting Murray, 26.6 rebounds, 7 assists for 32 minutes. Eubanks. 18 points, 6 rebounds, 2 assists for 24 minutes. McDermott, 17 points, 3 rebounds, 2 assists for 26 minutes. Johnson, 8 points, 12 rebounds, 4 assists for 31 minutes. And White, 2 points, 4 rebounds, and 6 assists for 29 minutes. Coming from bench, we had Young, 17 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists, for 23 minutes, Forbes 15 points, 2 rebounds, 1 assist for 12 minutes, Walker Fort 15 points, 1 rebound, 1 assist for 22 minutes, Wessel 15 points, 5 rebounds, 1 assist for 24 minutes, Vias Camp 3 points, 0 rebound, 0 assist for 3 minutes, Jones 0, 0 0.0 assist. Uh, pardon, 0, 0.0 rebounds, 1 assist for 5 minutes, and Primo, 0, 0.0 rebounds and 1 assist for 3 minutes. On the Sacramento Kings side, we had starting Fox, 37 points, 2 rebounds, and, 20, and 6 assists for 34 minutes. Then we had Heald, 12 points, 1 rebound, 2 assists for 34 minutes. We had Barnes with 9 points, 7 rebounds, 1 assist for 31 minutes. Harkless, 6 points, 1 rebound, 1 assist for 23 minutes. Holmes, 
6 points, 12 rebounds, 0 assists for 18 minutes. And coming from bench, we had Matthew with 13 points, 6 rebounds, 1 assist for 20 minutes. Mitchell, 13 points, 3 rebounds, 6 assists for 25 minutes. Allen, 8 points, 6 rebounds, 1 assist for 14 minutes. Ramsey, 7 points, 0 rebounds, 0 assists for 21 minutes. Thompson, 4 points, 5 rebounds, 1 assist for 6 minutes. And Jones, 2 points, 1 rebound, 1 assist for 8 minutes. So, the team totals for Kings, 44 rebounds, 12 assists, 4 steals, 6 blocks, 14 turnovers. Spurs, 44 rebounds, 34 assists, 10 steals, 4 blocks, and 8 turnovers. The Kings shot field goals, 47 out of 92, shot 3 points, 10 out of 36, and free throws, 13 out of 16, where the Spurs shot field goals, 49 out of 92, 3.18 out of 32 and free throws 20 out of 31. So by this it looks like their free throw percentage is worst. <laughs> so let's go to the next game. So Indiana Pacers played at Ball Arena at Denver against Nuggets. The Indiana lost on road 98 to 101. And Indiana is now with a season score of four wins and eight losses, which is good enough for 13th place in Eastern Conference. And they are now on a one-game losing streak. And for the Nuggets, we have score season score of seven wins and four losses, which is good enough for fourth place in Western Conference. And they are now on a three-game winning streak. The most important thing is, this is the game where Jokic did not play due to the suspension from the NBA for one game. So the, season, the game best players were for Indiana, Sabonis with 20 points, 19 rebounds and 2 assists. And for Denver Nuggets, Willie Barton with 30 points, 6 rebounds and 3 assists. The game developed by Quarter as follows. The first quarter was won by Denver Nuggets, 23-20. to 20. Second quarter, Pacers won 24-21. to 21. The third quarter, Nuggets won again, 25-21. to 21. And the fourth quarter, Indiana won 33-32. to 32. For the final score, Indiana 98, Denver Nuggets 101. Now let's take a look at player stats for winning team. So, for the Nuggets starting, Willie Barton, 30 points, 6 rebounds, 3 assists on a field goal shooting 11 out of 19, 3.6 out of 9, free throws 2 out of 2 for 33 minutes. Then we had, well, we had Jeff Green with 12 points, 2 rebounds, 1 assist for 27 minutes. Morris, 10 points, 3 rebounds, 4 assists for 30 minutes. Gordon, 8 points, 9 rebounds, 2 assists for 32 minutes. And Jermichael Green, 2 points, 7 rebounds, and 2 assists for 21 minutes. Coming from bench, Naji, 19 points, 5 rebounds, and zero assists for 20 minutes. Bones Highland, 12 points, three rebounds, four assists for 21 minutes. Dogier, six points, four rebounds, two assists for 24 minutes. Rivers, two points for 14 minutes. Howard, did not put himself on the board for four minutes and Campazzo with one assist for seven minutes. Now on the losing team we had starters Brogdon 25 points, three rebounds, five assists for 34 minutes. Sabonis 20 points, 19 rebounds, two assists for 33 minutes. 
Turner, 13 points, 8 rebounds, 0 assists for 30 minutes. Holiday, 6 points, 2 rebounds, 1 assist for 35 minutes. Duarte, 6 points, 3 rebounds, 1 assist for 21 minutes. Coming from bench, we had McConnell, 16 points, 3 rebounds, 9 assists for 28 minutes. Martin, 5 points, 4 rebounds, 0 assists for 19 minutes. Craig, 5 points, 2 rebounds, 1 assist for 21 minutes. Lamb, 2 points, 3 rebounds, 3 assists for 11 minutes. And Brissett, with 0 points, 1 rebound and 0 assists for 3 minutes. The team stats are as follows. Indiana Pacers, 48 rebounds, 22 assists, 5 steals, 11 blocks and 12 turnovers. And Denver Nuggets had 39 rebounds. 19 assists, 5 steals, 4 blocks, and 10 turnovers. So that would be the recap for that game. Let's go to the next one. So we had Portland Trailblazers playing at Footprint Center in Phoenix against Phoenix Suns. They lost 109 to 119 in front of the 15,672 spectators which is 87% occupancy and the Portland Trailblazers are now at five wins and seven losses which gives them a score for 10th place in West uh, and they're on a two-game losing streak where Phoenix Suns are now third in West with a winning score of last six games. The game leaders, player leaders were Demi Lillard, 28 points, seven rebounds, seven assists, and Kaminsky for Phoenix Suns, 31 points, seven rebounds, and three assists. By quarters, the game was played as follows. Suns won the first quarter, 27 to 26, Suns won the second quarter, 33 to 21. Trailblazers won the third quarter, 30 to 27. And fourth quarter was tie, 32 to 32. For the final score, Trailblazers 109, Suns 119. Let's take a look at the game, the player stats. For the Suns starting, Chris Paul, 21.4 rebounds, 7 assists for 36 minutes. Green, 14 points, 8 rebounds, 1 assist for 16 minutes. Crowder, 12 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists for 30 minutes. Booker, 12 points, 8 rebounds, 6 assists for 37 minutes. Bridges, 10 points, 2 rebounds, 5 assists for 38 minutes. Coming from bench, we had Kaminsky. 31 points, 7 rebounds, and 3 assists for 31 minutes. Payne, 9 points, 1 rebound, 1 assist for 16 minutes. Johnson, 6 points, 2 rebounds, 1 assist for 21 minutes. And Nader, 4 points, 2 rebounds, 1 assist for 10 minutes. For Trey Blazers, we had starting Damian Lillard. 28 points, 7 rebounds, 7 assists for 38 minutes. Powell, 23 points, 3 rebounds, 1 assist for 28 minutes. McCollum, 18 points, 4 rebounds, 7 assists for 40 minutes. Nurkic, 8 points, 6 rebounds, 3 assists for 19 minutes. Covington, 7 points, 3 rebounds, 0 assists for 23 minutes. Coming from bench... We had Nance Jr. with 13 points, 5 rebounds, 3 assists for 26 minutes. We had Little with 8 points, 7 rebounds, 1 assist for 22 minutes. Zeller, 2 points, 6 rebounds, 1 assist for 12 minutes. Simmons, 2 points, 3 rebounds, 1 assist for 20 minutes. And Snail, 0 points, 2 rebounds, and 0 assists for eight minutes. 
the games, uh, the team stats for the game were as follows. Trey Blazers, 46 rebounds, 24 assists, 5 steals, 2 blocks, 14 turnovers. Suns, 39 rebounds, 27 assists, 6 steals, 6 blocks, and 10 turnovers. The Trail Blazers shot field goals, 44 out of 91, and shot 3.7 out of 30. Free throws, 14 out of 16. The Suns shot field goals 49 out of 94, 3.11 out of 28, and free throw 10 out of 12. Next game, uh, Minnesota Timberwolves played at uh, Chase Center San Francisco against Golden State Warriors in front of 18,064 spectators, 100% uh, occupancy. And Minnesota Timberwolves lost 110 to 123. Minnesota Timberwolves has now a season score of three wins and seven losses, which is good enough for 13th place in Western Conference. They're now on a six game losing streak, and Warriors are first in Western Conference and first in league with a total score of 10 wins and one loss and they are now on a six-game winning streak. The game leaders were Anthony Edwards for Minnesota Timberwolves with 45 points, five rebounds and five assists. And for Golden State Warriors, it was Stephen Carey with 25 points, five rebounds and six assists. Let's see by quarters. Warriors won the first quarter, 31 to 28. Warriors won the second quarter, 38 to 26. Warriors lost the third quarter 30 to 24 and Warriors won the last quarter 30 to 26. Let's take a look at the player stats for Warriors starting. Wiggins 35 points, 4 rebounds, 0 assists for 31 minutes. Stephen Carey 25 points, 5 rebounds, 6 assists for 34 minutes. Poole 14 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists for 36 minutes. Looney, 11 points, 17 rebounds, 1 assist for 28 minutes. And Green, 7 points, 5 rebounds and 6 assists for 21 minutes. Coming from bench, we have Porter Jr., 10 points, 4 rebounds, 0 assists for 14 minutes. Nemanja Bjelica, 9 points, 5 rebounds, 0 assists for 19 minutes. Peyton, the second, 7 points. 2 rebounds, 0 assists, 15 minutes. Toscano, 5 points, 1 rebound, 0 assists for 6 minutes. Gioza, 0, 0, 0 for 1 minute. Moody had 1 rebound for 5 minutes. And Igudala had 0 points, 4 rebounds, and 8 assists for 24 minutes. Now on Timberwolf side starting Anthony Edwards, 48 points, 5 rebounds, 5 assists for 41 minutes. Russell, 18 points, 1 rebound, 7 assists for 34 minutes. Carl Anthony Towns, 17 points, 12 rebounds, 4 assists for 38 minutes. Beverly, 5 points, 6 rebounds, 7 assists for 34 minutes. McDaniel, 2 points, 1 rebound and zero assists for 14 minutes. Coming from bench for Timberwolves, we have Reed, 16 points, seven rebounds, two assists for 25 minutes. Beasley, two points, three rebounds, two assists for, for 22 minutes. Vanderbilt, two points, six rebounds, two assists for 18 minutes. McLaughlin, 0 points, 0 rebounds, 1 assist for 5 minutes, and Okogi with a 0, 0, 0 for 6 minutes. Now let's see at the team stats. So Timberwolves had 41 rebounds, 30 assists, 8 steals, 4 blocks, and 17 turnovers, where the Warriors had 53 rebounds, 23 assists, had uh, 14 steals, six blocks and 16 turnovers. Now let's move to last game for the day.
We had Miami, Miami Heat at Staples Center, Los Angeles, against Lakers in front of 18,997 spectators, 100% occupancy. The game ended in overtime, and Miami Heat lost 117 to 120. Let's look at the score by quarters. Lakers won the first quarter 28 to 25. Heat won the second quarter 32 to 27. Heat won the third quarter 29 to 27. Lakers won the fourth quarter 30 to 26 for the game tie 112 to 112. And then in the overtime, Lakers won 8 to 5. Uh, the game leader for Miami Heat was Bem Adebayo with 28 points, 10 rebounds and 4 assists. And for uh, Lakers, it was Russell Westbrook with 25 points, 12 rebounds and 14 assists. Now let's look at the Lakers player stats. So for Lakers starting, um, uh, we want to add, of course, that LeBron James did not play. So, for Lakers starting, Westbrook, 25 points, 12 rebounds, 14 assists for 43 minutes. Anthony Davis, 24 points, 13 rebounds, 4 assists for 44 minutes. Bradley, 17 points, 3 rebounds, 2 assists for 38 minutes. Bazemore, 2 points, 2 rebounds, 0 assists for 21 minutes. And Jordan, 1 point. 5 rebounds, 0 assists for 11 minutes. Coming from bench, we had Monk, 27 points, 6 rebounds, 3 assists for 34 minutes. Ellington, 12 points, 0 rebounds, 3 assists for 21 minutes. Anthony, 12 points, 6 rebounds, 1 assist for 37 minutes. And Howard, 0 points, 3 rebounds, and 0 assists for 11 minutes. Let's take a look at the Miami players' stats. So starting for Heat, Adebayo, 28 points, 10 rebounds, 4 assists for 33 minutes. Lowry, 18 points, 6 rebounds, 11 assists for 46 minutes. Robinson, 12 points, 6 rebounds, 3 assists for 45 minutes. Tucker, 10 points, 13 rebounds and 2 assists for 38-minute uh, play time. We had Jimmy Butler, 7 points, 0 rebounds, 1 assist for 12 minutes play time. Then coming from the bench, we had Tyler Hero with 27 points, 4 rebounds, 3 assists for 42 minutes. Dadman, 4 points, 5 Rebound, 0 assists for 9 minutes. Vincent, 4 points, 0 rebound, 0 assists for 13 minutes. Yurt, 7, 3 points, 1 rebound, 0 assists for 4 minutes. Martin, 2 points, 2 rebounds, 2 assists for 14 minutes. And Haslam, 2 points, 0 rebounds, 0 assists for 5 minutes. The game... The team stats were as follows. Miami Heat had 47 rebounds and 26 assists, had 14 steals, 2 blocks, and 14 turnovers, where the Lakers had 50 rebounds, 26 assists, 5 steals, 6 blocks, and 22 turnovers. So, let's wrap up for today. We will have to change the format for the future reports as when we have a day like this with 13 games just to quickly give feedback on the games it took already one hour so we will think about it how we want to change that nevertheless we wish you a great game day great day game day and in a couple of hours we will bring uh, our season leader stats um, and we wish you all the best and until the next time, bye-bye.